everybody, it's Charmy Sketches, and I'm back again with another awesome manga video. Um, I've definitely missed making videos for you guys, and once again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, and I'm glad that I can make content that you guys like, and that I also enjoy too. <laughs> so, alright, so basically what I'm going to talk about today is just kind of a catch-up video on like manga that I've recently collected and added to my collection. <laughs> um, can you tell I'm a little bit rusty at this? Um, yeah. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna start from things that I recently, recently got, like literally this week. Um, I got the first volume of Mars by Fuyumi Sorio and yeah, um, Mars is a series that I've been wanting to collect for a very long time, and I've nearly have it all. Um, as you can see up here, I have volume 2, 3, 7, and 9, and now I have volume 1. So that's awesome. Um, I'm slowly completing it. Once again, it's out of print because it is a Tokyo Pop manga, and yeah, glad to have it in my collection now, and I cannot wait to be able to actually read it, because um, in the past I had started reading, I had started reading Mars, and I really enjoyed it, but the thing was, I was, um, it was my sister's uh, copy of the manga, and I wanted to own it for myself, and also she didn't have the complete set, so I have never actually been able to complete the story. So I'm very, very excited to be able to complete the story one day. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing that came in the mail is this right here. Um, this is Trigon Maximum Omnibus 1, and of course that's by the Yasuhiro, the famous and awesome Yasuhiro Naitao. Um, yes, I am excited about reading Trigun because it's one of my favorite anime ever. I love Vasha Stampede, and I'm super excited to figure out why Wolfwood is here. And I'm, I'm assuming it's Wolfwood. I don't know if, if this guy right here is Wolfwood or not, but yes. If you do know if it's Wolfwood, do not spoil it down in the comments. I would really appreciate if you didn't, but um, I will be reading this very, very soon. I'll be reading Trigun. I have the Omnibus of Trigun. Um, one second, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I have the Omnibus of Trigun, and I have the second volume of Trigun Maximum. Um, so yes, I am excited to read that, and yep. And next on to something a little bit cuter, <laughs> definitely cuter, um, since Trigun is a little bit, um, Trigun is like, it's comedy, but it's very gunslinger-y, I guess, like a lot of action-packed stuff, and Cardcaptor Sakura is another series that I absolutely love and I've wanted to own it, and I'm glad, in a way, that I held off on buying it for so long because now I can read the omnibus by Dark Horse and I know that a lot of people have problems with these omnibuses because the spines crease or whatever but I mean with my Clover omnibus which I have right here I really had no problem with the creasing. I've already read this twice, and there's absolutely no creasing on here. I don't know if it's just because I... <laughs> I'm just... I don't know, like, gentle with my books when I read them, but as you can see, I mean, I have read the story and it is awesome. Um, but anyway, we're not talking about that clamp title. Um, so back to Cardcaptor Sakura, I am super excited to have this on this, and um, basically it's one of the best Magical Girl series um, that I know of, 
and I definitely am excited to own it. Um, but one thing that I found funny is on the back here, it says card captor. Let me see if you can. Yeah, it says car captor Sakura. What's up with that? Does anybody else who own this who owns this omnibus also have that problem? Because that would be funny if this is a misprint, and maybe that's why it was so cheap on eBay. And also, this was brand new. So, yes, the artwork in here is beautiful, and much like the Clover Omnibus, there are illustrations in here, colored pages. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. I am so excited to read this. Um, I'm probably going to wait until I get the entire series in the omnibuses to read it, but I don't know. I might just go ahead and read it, because... This is such a cute series, and yes, I am very excited to have it in my collection. Alright, so um, the next thing that I want to talk about is this really cute Japanese manga series called Fua Fua Cinemoro, or Cinnamon. Um, and the character's name is, this character right here, his name is Cinemoro. And those of you that are um, knowledgeable about Sanrio characters like Hello Kitty and other characters like that um, will know that, yeah, he's a, he's a Sanrio character. Um, this is a manga that I believe came out in English, but I found it for very cheap um, in Japanese online, and I've been studying Japanese for a while now, and I'm actually able to read very very basic Japanese and as you can see here the first few pages are in color and they're so cute and every single kanji every single kanji has um has furigana on it so like for example kyo right here that's kyo and I actually I know that kanji but it's nice that it's still there um, but kyo means, uh, today. So, yeah, um, it's really adorable, it seems really cute, and I am so excited to read this. Um, it's gonna be a fun experience, I'm gonna learn so much new vocabulary, I don't know how applicable, um, the vocabulary will be to speaking Japanese, but, um, still, it'll be a fun thing to do to read and also just to practice my Japanese comprehension. Um, so I bought volume one and this is volume two and it's still in the plastic. I think volume one was the only one that was not in the plastic and the seller f was from Japan so it took a while for it to get here but um, I was really excited when it got here so yes. And then this is the back, and then this is volume three. And if you're wondering what um, fua fua means, it's like fluffy. Um, so yeah, um, apparently, apparently a cinema roll is a bulldog, but he totally looks like a bunny to me. Um, but yeah. So I'm really excited to have this series, and it's definitely going to be cute, and I might even do some tips about, um, you know, manga to read if you're, like, basically elementary school <laughs> level of Japanese comprehension like me. Um, I don't know if I would recommend this yet, so, I mean, I have to actually read it first, but as far as other Japanese manga go, I would definitely recommend checking out Saint Tail. Um, Kaito Sento Teru in, um, in Japanese. Uh, it's definitely easy to understand um, and very cute. The art style is very cute. So yes, um, I am definitely going to be um, collecting more manga in Japanese. A lot of it is going to be shoujo and maybe a little bit of shonen. Um, just uh, basically, I want to I want to be able to buy manga that I can read, 
So if I'm not up to the comprehension yet, which, by the way, I'm not up to the comprehension to read um, Trinity Blood in Japanese or Mars in Japanese, even though I've seen so many awesome sets of Mars in Japanese on eBay. I've been tempted to buy them, but I know that if I did buy them, I wouldn't be able to fully comprehend it because I'm not on that Japanese level yet. So, yes. Alright, so the next thing, um, I guess we're all caught up with my most recent additions to my collection, but um, let's kind of go back in the time machine a little bit. So basically, I went to Colossal Con 2017, and it was a blast, it was awesome. Um, if any of you guys saw me there, um, on Sunday I was cosplaying Mihoshi from Tenchi Muyo, and it was really, really awesome. <laughs> Um, and I had Ryo Oki with me, and a ton of people were like, Whoa, Tenshi Muyo cosplayer, that's weird. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it was a lot of fun. And, of course, um, at Colossal Con, they have a um, sort of otaku fair, where basically um, people will be able, people will sell, they'll sell stuff, and it, it's normally, it's not like fan made goods or anything, and I got an amazing deal. But before I show you that, I want to show you the stuff I got in the dealer's room. And yeah, so, um, <laughs> yep, upside down. Okay, so I got volume one of Gate 7 by Clamp, and yeah, um, I have not read this yet, and I'm probably going to wait to get the series first. I've heard that similarly to Clover, um, the artwork is gorgeous, but the story's a little bit hard to follow. But, um, I mean, with Clover, I didn't really find it that difficult to follow. I really enjoyed it, and yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this. The artwork looks gorgeous. Um, Clamp is awesome, and it's it's not that I necessarily want to own everything that Clamp has put out, but, you know, if, if I enjoy this, then, yeah, it'll be worth the purchase. Um, yeah. And so the next thing I got in the dealer's room is actually not manga related, <laughs> so uh, forgive me for that, but... Okay, so this is a K-pop album, and yes, it looks like a VHS tape because FX is just awesome like that, and it's for a K-pop girl group called FX, and um, as you can see, there are five members here, um, but currently they only have four active members, um, so there's Luna, Amber, Crystal, Sully, and Victoria, and Sully who is right here. She decided to pursue acting instead. So yes, um, this is one of the first albums from FX that I really fell in love with. And yes, I did listen to it online. Um, and I loved it so much that I wanted to add it to, to my collection. It's actually still in the plastic. And um, if you know anything about K-pop albums, you normally get a a card of one of the members. Oh, that's so cute. They're like chippies. Um, <laughs> so you normally get a card of one of the members um, inside. So I'm going to do an unboxing video probably at some point. Um, I know it's not manga related, but whatever. This is my channel and I put up content that I enjoy. So yeah. There's that. Pink Tape by FX. Totally worth checking them out. If you would like to legally stream their music, you can actually stream their music on Spotify, and they actually get a, por a portion of that profit if you stream it on Spotify. So if you want to check out their music, um, I'm pretty sure you can listen to this entire album on Spotify. So it's totally worth it. It's a really, really funky, cool... Um, 
techno sort of like there's like a so there are so many different styles of music on here and I just absolutely love it um and I love all of the members so much they are all so pu so beautiful and pretty and I love Amber and I love Crystal and I love Victoria and I love Luna and Sully oh so <laughs> anyway all right stop stop k-pop gushing um all right, and so the next thing that I got that is also not really manga related, but it's anime related because it's an anime DVD. Um, basically, this is going into, and actually, no, I'm going to go into the, the Artist Alley stuff that I got. So basically, at Artist Alley, there were a lot of awesome artists there, but unfortunately, my husband and I didn't get to spend as much time in the artist alley as we wanted so um, I was only able to pick up these two um, self-published art books and this is from Vaughn and he was super nice he was an awesome person to talk to he's very inspiring because um, I really want to I really want to go um, I really want to do the artist alley eventually at at some con because I've never been able I've never been able to do it and yes I mean his art style is so awesome he can really render um, but yeah I don't want to show off too much of it but if I can find his website online I will definitely link it below um, I mean just look at that that's so gorgeous um, he primarily works in pencil um, or it might be graphite, but uh, yeah, he was awesome, and I think he might have a YouTube channel too, so I will definitely link it down below. Um, yeah, and if you're watching this, um, thank you so much. You inspired me a lot, and I'm really happy to own this. And I'm pretty sure it's signed by him as well. Did I get it signed? No, I think I forgot to ask him to sign it. Oh no. Um, okay, so, um, so the next artist that I purchased, um, an art book from is Gaki, I think is how you say her name, and this is just gorgeous. This is her, um, 2015 Inktober, um, Inktober illustration book and wow is there some inspiring stuff in here I am getting so excited for Inktober and you know once again I'm not going to show every single page in here because you should really buy from her and yes she signed for me too and she is just so sweet she was awesome um, so yeah um, definitely like there's so much art in here so much just pages upon pages of inked artwork and yes um, I believe her website is gaki.net and as for Vaughn um, like I said I will link that um, so you guys can check out these fabulous artists and lastly um, Colossal Khan was able to get one Japanese guest and the Japanese guest that they got was um, now Yazawa and she does wedding peach she was so sweet and yeah she wrote my name in katakana there <laughs> it's really cute oh chan <laughs> um yeah but if you can read that you can totally just figure out what my name is um anyway so uh yeah um i bought some of her prints and she was selling stuff so so cheap and I was like, why are you selling them this cheap? You wrote Wedding Peach. I mean, I don't know that much about Wedding Peach, but it, but I know that, like, you're an actual manga artist from Japan. Like, that's awesome. And she had two panels. Um, my husband and I wanted to go to two of her panels. I mean, to both of her panels, but unfortunately, um, one of them was on Sunday, and we just didn't make it. Um... But yes, her artwork is very, very cute, very shoujo, and um, at the first panel that we went to with her, she was basically like, um, 
she was showing us her artwork that she submitted to different Japanese magazines when she was like, I want to be a manga artist. I'm passionate about this and I love making characters. And um, basically, she had her originals there. She had some of her original manga pages there. And she allowed us to flip through them. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Ah. I mean, they just looked so beautiful in person. Um, I definitely want to check out Wedding Peach. Um, I think it's out of print, even though like it's Viz. I think it's out of print in English. But, considering the fact that it's a shoujo manga, I think I might be able to read it in Japanese, so I might eventually try to purchase it in Japanese. And I definitely want to check out the anime too, but, um, you know, since, since I'm more into manga, I'll probably be more into the manga, <laughs> because, yeah, um, she was just so awesome. Um, it was fantastic going to Colossal Con, so... Alright, and then the next thing, the next stuff that I got is pretty much all stuff um, that I got from the Otaku Fair. And like I said before, the Otaku Fair is basically where people, um, people can, anybody can just set up a table and sell anything that they have that's like a flea market, sort of. So I ended up purchasing this short OVA DVD um, because I was looking at it and I think I think the girl gave it to me for like 50 cents so it's like I mean how can you say no to 50 cents for uh, OVA and I know nothing about this but I do know this is super super 90s slash 80s style anime and I, I love this art style. <laughs> Don't judge me. I love this art style though. Like, just look at that. Look at that line, that line variation. Oh my gosh. Um, but apparently it's about some sort of elf princess or something, and there's like food involved. I don't know. But it looks really cute, and I'm excited to watch it. Um, I think it's about... Yeah, it says there's a 90 minute run time. So for 50 cents, I mean... Heck yeah! <laughs> um, and I think this was, yeah, this is released by Anime Works. So I don't even know if this is a rare title or not, but yeah. Um, I'll have to do a anime collection video one of these days, but um, yeah. So that was awesome. And last, but certainly not least, at the Otaku Fair, I was absolutely shocked to find someone who was selling, and I know I'm being super dramatic about it, but it, it deserves it, okay? Um, <laughs> I found someone who was selling I'm just gonna put these up here. Yeah. Oops, out of order. Okay, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So, <laughs> somebody was selling their entire collection of Mushishi for $40. $40. I could not pass it up. First off, this artwork is gorgeous. Just, wow. And I don't even know anything about Mushishi, really. But I know... I, I just have a hunch that I'll like it, because <laughs> I love watercolor, um, I mean, even if the story's not that good, the art alone is, it looks amazing, and considering how expensive these are on eBay, the fact that the guy was selling it for $40, like, I just had to. I was like, I have to buy this, because if I don't buy this now, Oh my gosh, like, I don't know if this guy realizes this is like a hundred plus dollar series that he has here. 
and volume six, I believe, is super, super rare. So the fact that I'm even touching these right now is kind of freaking me out. Um, I definitely want to... I definitely want to... Um, uh, put these in plastic and I will probably make a video where I'm doing that so I can show you guys how to make some awesome manga book covers to protect your manga and yes I am so excited to have these for $40 heck yeah so that was like such an amazing deal and I just I mean I feel in a way, I kind of felt bad because I know that other people have been searching for this series and, you know, a lot of people have actually spent tons and tons of money just to get volume six, just to get any of the volumes because they're all out of print. And I am just so thankful that I, I own Mushishi. So, I mean, it is intensely awesome that I have this series. Um, so yes, I will definitely be reading this. I'm thinking about reading it in October because there's just something about it that makes me want to read it in October. And oh my goodness, just look at that. Man. All right. So I guess last thing, we'll just kind of end on a sort of low note. I don't know. Um, I got a really, really cheap volume of, like, it says $5 on here, but it wasn't $5. Um, I forget how much it was, but it was basically, like, super cheap. I think it might have been, like, 75 cents or something. She just ba basically just wanted to get rid of it. Um, but this is volume two of Elf Quest: The Grand Quest. And Elf Quest has, I, I have sort of a history with Elf Quest. Um, my older sister really got me into it, and I don't own any of it, and I know you can read all of it online, and there's actually a really awesome omnibus that um, was printed, and yes, um, what's really cool about ElfQuest is it actually fits pretty well in a manga format because the artwork is mostly in black and white already and all they did pretty much was resize it. And yeah, that's one of my favorite characters, by the way. Her name's Lita, and I really, really want to cosplay her one day. <laughs> um, but yes, the artwork um, by, by Richard and Winnie Penny is awesome. So definitely, I'll link that below. Um, you should definitely check out Elf Quest. It is worth checking out. Um, yeah. So, um, that's about it, pretty much. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and once again, um, I am absolutely grateful for you guys, and happy to um, chat with you guys, so feel free to leave any comments below. Um, any thoughts that you have about any of the series or any of the stuff that I talked about. And yeah, thanks guys. Bye.